Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So this question is all about uh, fat soluble vitamin. So you can pause this video and uh, read the question and read the choices and try to answer this question by yourself. Now let's get into the question. So the question is about a nine year old girl okay, uh, who is uh, of European descent. So take a look at that. So European descent here and uh, failure to thrive that's another thing that you need to take a look at that and also look at the physical findings are positive for multiple nutrient deficiencies let's get into the specifics of that so uh, she is positive for increased presence of fat in her stool so this is something is uh, basically uh, author of this question is uh, trying to give you steatoria. Steatoria is the condition where there is excess fat in the stool and basically it is indicating fal uh, fat malabsorption which is going on here. And another important clue here is uh, the, uh, this particular girl has uh, elevated uh, sweat chloride levels and uh, elevated sweat chloride levels will give you indication that uh, there, there could be a possibility of cystic fibrosis as you can see cystic fibrosis is common in uh, people of European descent and in cystic fibrosis there will be uh, steatoria that is excess fat in the stool because there will be fat malabsorption why because pancreatic juice is not flowing into the intestine and that means uh, digestion and absorption of fats may not be going on properly. Elevated sweat chloride levels will also give the diagnosis so overall this is a kind of uh, diagnosis is most likely here it is cystic fibrosis now let's see what is the other finding other finding is uh, prothrombin time is elevated here and also there is increased clotting time so this uh, prothrombin time and the clotting time it is taking us towards a uh, one specific type of uh, vitamin here because there is a fat malabsorption so steatoria is present in cystic fibrosis so the fat malabsorptions whenever there is a fat malabsorption you got to remember uh, there is also malabsorption of fat soluble vitamins why because uh, absorption of fat soluble vitamins goes hand in hand with uh, fat soluble uh, fat also uh, dietary fat so that means we have uh, four fat soluble vitamins vitamin a vitamin d vitamin k and vitamin e so thing that is um, going uh, taking us towards so vitamin uh, specific fat soluble vitamin is prolonged prothrombin time and increased clotting time so these two uh, findings here will take us more towards the uh, vitamin k because vitamin k is involved in uh, activation of clotting factors 2 7 9 10 and that it does by um, increasing uh, gamma carboxylation of glutamate residues because vitamin k dependent uh, gamma carboxylase enzyme is going to add uh, additional carboxyl groups to the side chain of glutamate in uh, factors 2, 7, 9, 10 uh, and also it adds uh, uh, additional carboxyl groups to the glutamate of protein C, protein uh, S and uh, matrix glaprotein, osteocalcin you can take a look at my video on vitamin K the link for that video is there in the description below and also it is appearing right now at the upper right corner and also it will be appearing towards the end of this video now now we know what is the problem here so we are we are coming to a point where there is a vitamin K deficiency most likely seen in this particular uh, girl so let's see what is the question question is which one of the following types of reactions is most likely decreased in our cells so as i already told you if she is vitamin k deficient so obviously carboxylation of glutamate side chains in uh, factor 2 7 9 10 and other uh, proteins are decreased so option a seems to be the correct answer coming with uh, option b option b hydroxylation of xenobiotics xenobiotic hydroxylation it is going on in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and that doesn't need fat soluble vitamins here so i don't think uh, this will make an answer especially uh, given the case stem carboxylation of propionate now carboxylation all this is a carboxylation reaction but the carboxylation of propionate done by propionyl propionyl coa carboxylase and that needs biotin so which is a water soluble vitamin so which is clearly not efficient here and the methylation of homocysteine methylation of homocysteine uh, done by methionine synthase it needs a uh, water soluble vitamins that is vitamin b12 and folate so it is nothing to do with fat soluble vitamin and that rule uh, rules out option d here 
ಯಾವುದು ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಲಿನ್ ಹೈಡ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಲಿನ್ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಸ್ಕಾರ್ಬೇಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಾಲಿಬಲ್ ವಿಟಮಿನ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಸೊ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಾಲಿಬಲ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೂಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೈ ಹೋಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸಾಲಿಬಲ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಟ್ ಮಾಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ ಟು ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟು ರಿಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆನ್ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಕೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೈ ವೈಟಮಿನ್ ಕೆ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಲೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಯು ಇನ್ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ